everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a little Halloween card. I didn't share any Halloween cards so I thought that I would create some and share some with you. I've been really going crazy with the Christmas because I've got so many ideas and so many different stamp sets to share with you that I'm just having so much fun right now. And I, this is my favorite time of the year when all the holidays come up on us. So these are the Halloween cards that I'm sharing. I used two different stamp sets for this. Um, of course, I used our embossing paste for this and our, in, our um, um, masks that we have. And the stamp sets that I'm using are the Spooky Cat, which I'm using the Happy Halloween from this and the hat. And then the little pumpkin came from the Seasonal Chums. And I got a really cute little gift idea I'm going to share using these. I love this stamp set. It's so cute. So I just stamped this part of the pumpkin. And I used my watercolor pencils and colored it in and then just used my blender pen over that to get the watercolored look. And then he's popped up with the dimensional and so is the witch's hat. So this is what I'm going to share. I'm actually this time going to use the Lemon Lime Twist with the Witch's Hat. Because that was my original idea and then I remembered I had this little pumpkin and I thought that would be cute so I did one with a pumpkin. So let's go ahead and get started with this. You are going to need a piece of uh, basic black and this is our typical four and a half by five and a, uh, five and a half by four and a quarter card base. Then you're going to need a piece that's five by four. I believe that's what this one was. Yeah, five by four. And then this piece is three quarters of inch. And I'm going to cut it. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long the pieces that I'll use, but um, I'll cut it. And then when I do, I'll measure it and I'll let you know what size that is. That's just for the sentiment. And then you'll need an extra piece of Whisper White to stamp the hat, the uh, witch's hat on. And these are our, um, uh, our embossing masks. And we have some clouds. And you've seen me use this before. I used this one right here on a card. And then I'm using the diamonds this time. And we have some bricks. So those are the four that come in that package. And then, of course, our embossing paste. And we have some little tools that come in a package. There's three different tools in here, and these are the palette knives. I'm going to use this one right here. And I am going to use a um, mat that I, this is an old mat that I had, but you'll need something like that to do the embossing paste on it. On. So the way we're going to color it is we are just going to use the lemon lime twist and you can just put a little bit on here like that and then we're gonna you're not gonna need very much embossing paste a little bit goes a very long way with this so I think that's probably enough and they're just just gonna mix it until you get the color this one may be a little bit darker than the last one but that's okay I like the variation on that but you can see it just picks up that color. It's really pretty. I kind of like the darker, deeper one. Okay, let's close this up. And make sure you close your embossing um, paste really quickly because it will dry out pretty quick. And then um, I've got a piece of baby wipe or a baby wipe handy because we're going to clean everything off before we um, move on because we don't want it to harden on any surface. So we are going to use that and I'm just going to line this up straight here. Just grab your embossing paste and just start kind of pushing it into those holes there of the little diamond. And I'm, I am kind of making it a little bit of a pattern there and I'll show you here in a minute. So then just lift that up gently so it's going to look like that. And you could do it whatever way you like. 
I'm going to wipe this really quick and then after I get done with the video I'll take it to the sink and wash it really good so that no embossing paste stick, stays on it, dries on it. And then we're going to clean off our knife and our little mat here really quickly because we don't want it all drying. It will dry really fast. Okay, so we'll get this all out of the way and then we are ready to go on. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. It does take a minute to dry and I'm going to grab a piece of, I'm going to use my Memento Black and our little witch's hat here. And we're going to stamp that. You do have to fussy cut this, but it's very, very simple fussy cutting. Ooh, I missed a spot there. Oh, there's something on there. Let me do that again. I don't know if it's on my stamp or on... Let me wipe my stamp off really quick. It looks like it might be on the stamp. A little piece of something. I don't like using this on my stamps anymore because it does leave some um, little lint pieces. So I'm really getting used to my stamp and scrub and I love that. Okay, let's do this again. I'll do it on this side. Oh, that's much better much much better and then while we have it out I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that piece with the happy Halloween and we'll have it all stamped out I think I got it crooked boy I'm having a time this today so. all right let's see if I can line this up with this and make sure That's better. Alright, so we have those stamped. I'm going to get my little scissors here and we are going to fussy cut this. Okay, he's all fussy cut out. We have our little hat there. And let's go ahead and let me feel that. Yeah, it's almost perfectly dry. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little star. And this star is actually from the little things. You can use a star from any of your sets. I just happened to find this one in here, so that's why I used that one. And I'm going to use some basic gray. And we are going to, actually I'm going to set on my um, sentiments first. And then I could see where I want my little um, star to go, stars to go. So I'm going to just add some. I'm going to set that up here. This is what I was telling you I was going to cut, and then I'm just going to cut it off right here. So let me measure that and let you know how much, how long that is. So it is about two and a half inches. And then we're going to just pop up the little witch's hat on here. Take the little backings off. And I'm just going to attach it a little bit sideways on here. And now I can put my stars on. And I'm just going to stamp like three little stars. But it just depends where you put your embossing paste is where um, you can place your stars. Just like that. 
And I think it's really cute. It just adds a little bit of something to it. And it's a very simple card, but I think it's really, it really turned out pretty cute. So we're going to just flip this over and add some fast views. And add it to our basic black base here. You can even put a little mat of lemon lime twist if you like. Um, I tried it and I like it better just on the plain black. But there, there it is. All three of them. I like them all, all the same, you know, different ways. So they're really simple and cute and I hope you enjoyed it. So if you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop right from my blog. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.